All right, so let's talk about Hov, man. Um, Forbes says he became the first uh, hip hop billi- billionaire. So they broke it down with his Ace of Spades, Champagne, uh, that company. There's 310 million. They are 220 in cash and investments. 100 million in his. Uh, it's pronounced Douce, I believe. Is how, how you pronounce that? Mm-hmm. Uh, is that a cognac? I can't remember. I own them. I have no idea. But I believe it is. It's a cognac. 100 million there. Uh, Title has 100 million. 75 million in Rock Nation. 75 million on his music catalog, which shows you how important that is. Towards the billion, uh, his or, art collection, or how little, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. That's how I took it. Yeah, uh, seventy-five million for the art collection, and then they said about fifty in real estate. That's actually misleading because they are because the music influenced everything else. Mm-hmm. So. That's what I'm like. You know, what I'm saying but, like he yeah. obviously came out with the music first, but um, if you think about it, man, like I thought this would have been Diddy or. I mean, Diddy's Dr. Up Dre, there. They, they're they're in the they're in the area, but you know, Hove is just he's expanded the portfolio, man. Like it's ridiculous now for this guy to start off as just a rapper uh, and to become an entrepreneur, CEO level, C level guy, and just continuing to grow. Like to me, this is crazy. Like, and I, I t- Terry and I were texting, um, texting about this. We're talking about Jay. To me, this is just my opinion. We've had this conversation before. I don't want to derail anything. But with this milestone, when you look at it from a cumulative standpoint, uh, the billionaire, the catalog, rap. The billionaire influ- is irrelevant to the music. You think so? From yes. who, for, I'm talking about. What does, for what him, does for billionaire him being, have to do with music? Well, first of all, he started off as an artist, yeah. right? I'm not going to hold. off as a D-boy. He well, came into the well, game. There we go. He did say 100 grand strong. What I'm saying Nine is. Nine to be exact. Thank you. You listen to that out. That's what from I'm talking gr- about. From grinding G packs. Exactly. There we go. What I'm saying is, I don't know if I can just sit to the side the fact that he became a super duper businessman after he became he started off as a rapper and then expanded to that. Like to me, that's part of the story. It's part of the story, but it's business and it's not music. So I think, for me, this is just my opinion. When you take all that into consideration, how is he not the greatest? Because his catalog, his catalog. We gonna do the cat? Do we want to do the catalog? Uh, okay. Jay's catalog is crazy. The, we can do the catalog we, if you want to talk about the catalog. But if you want to talk about billionaire status and all, that's irrelevant to the music. And the billionaires not the same thing. Well, I'm, I'm, that, makes I'm, a, that makes him a really good businessman. Is what that makes. Well, him. I, to me, his influence as a businessman will him be a felt. Tremendous capitalist. In, that's what it makes him. So you don't think his influence makes him a good musician? No, no. What I'm saying is, you don't think his influence in business has influenced other business people that are coming up in hip hop at all. Again, you're talking about business. But to me, so we just go set that to the side. Y'all want to set that to the side what for I'm his saying, whole story. What I'm saying, no, it's no, the, the operative, the the operative are, word here is cumulative. I said everything. Well, people I didn't are, say just music. People are multifaceted. He can be right. a businessman and a great musician in one. I think he's both. But so I don't think but you I don't said think leave it's, it to the side. I don't think I don't think I <laughs> A lot of people are as good of musicians as Jay Z are is, but they're probably not as good of business people, and that's what this proves. What I do with bringing did a really good job with creating a brand, right behind the music, right or what started in the street and then became the music, and then building a brand and then being smart enough to diversify into a whole bunch of things that ended up being very successful, right? Because of that, he's smart. (laughs) He's real smart when it comes to capitalist venture and business and yes um music is a foundation part of the foundation of that i would agree with that yeah does that I, I all that a, make him the greatest rapper no but i'm just I saying this, angle on that. <laughs> everything that you just listed impact whoa we all good that everything big, that's big time <laughs> we're good Every, though everything that y'all are listening to me has impacted hip-hop that's what i'm saying that's Again, why you this, have to it's not but this, this music is, is hip. no music is hip-hop right Music is hip hop. If this affects hip hop, to me that goes into the cumulative equation. That's my opinion. Sean, did you get your point out? Did you want to keep going on Not, what you were going to say? Thank you. I got enough to, to chime in later. Okay. <laughs> Go All ahead, right. So man. this is what I'll say to that. I don't think him being a a billionaire makes him the greatest. I thought he was. I think he's the greatest, regardless of the billionaire status. And the reason being is the type of artist that he is. 
mean, he's been talking about doing this since the very beginning. Facts. And he stay consistent. Uh, he's a when you talk about genius levels of uh, being able to do shit, he definitely I think fits that cloth because he can literally go in the studio, listen to a beat, write the song in his head, yep. go in there and lay that shit down. Right, and he does the shit with ease, like as far as creating these dope monuments in hip hop yep. that have transcended. Like he literally sets trends or set trends every time he came out and did something. So he's kind of responsible to why it's cool to wear that jersey you have on. Okay, I mean, even though you're a Cubs fan, <laughs> you're not necessarily wearing it for that. But I'm saying he made that's just one of the the many facets that he did. Right. The jerseys, the hat cock, the the uh And that goes into the, the culture aspect. Yeah, of culturally. Everything. That's why he could never be a fucking culture vulture. He is the culture. <laughs> um Man, and there we wearing, are. And there we go. <laughs> wearing button ups. You know, he made people start switching their style up to kind of yeah. fit what he's talking about because his style grew with him. Yeah. He didn't stay, you know how we always talk about Artists that t- sit there and talk about the same shit over and over and over. Mm-hmm. He constantly evolved, stepped up this game on every single release, and it showed growth. He start he dropped an album called The Blueprint, which I mean KRS One did it prior to that, but still, I mean he's literally took hip hop, the culture, and ran with it and made some of it. He did, and he's a fucking billionaire for it. And I don't. Like I said, I don't think the billionaire makes him the greatest. That's just the icing on the cake. Maybe I said it wrong then, the icing on the cake. That's fine. I'm with that. I ain't mad at that. Spool's jumping. I just, I just want to say good for Jay-Z, man. Yeah. It's big. It's awesome. I think you have more to say. I we don't, we don't have brother. enough damn time. Yeah, we do. Can, you can give Let me, me ask three, you this, you man. Me if, the be, if, if an MC, if an MC came out, so let's take Rakim, right? I don't know what Rakim's up to these days. But let's say Rakim, or talk. let's talk about Karis One, maybe, for Gotta, example. I, I, I love Karis, Karis, Karis One. Karis One, I'm a teacher. I want to be a teacher. I'm a yep. teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Yep. Right? And he raps about it for a long time, and he's really, really good at it. He's really good at rapping about being a teacher. And then he goes and he, he becomes a teacher. Yeah. Is that not as successful as rapping about making a billion dollars your whole life and going and making a billion, making a billion dollars? dollars. <laughs> Why? Good. That's our culture, yeah. guys. This is our yeah. society. This is what it we is. value as a society. Yeah. I am not That's hating on Ali. Jay-Z having a billion dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is something that societally we value more than a lot of other things. That's Touché. all I'm going to say. Touché. I wouldn't say that necessarily. So he does rap about that. He also raps about empowerment. He rap, raps about entrepreneurship. He raps about owning your shit. I don't want to see anything wrong with that. But I think what Spools is saying I, is that, sure, he said that that's what he wanted to do early on, and then he accomplished it. He had this huge goal of doing all these things. So maybe the scale is bigger than being a teacher, right? I guess maybe we could say that. But if I come out and do the same thing, I could be like, yeah, I want to do these things. And then I accomplish them. Well, I'm doing what I said I was going to do as well. So it's kind of hard to I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and, and a lot and of that, what that Terry a, just mentioned were capitalist financial ventures. It, those, for sure. Th- that is what we value in this country. Mm-hmm. And yes, he did achieve those. And yes, that's incredible. Achieving, having goals and achieving them is great. Yeah. You know, that's fantastic. I but just don't think we place the same importance or value of importance as on other no, that's types a great, of things. That's a great point. I've that's never heard really, of yeah, it. That could be I equal. Mean, that could that. be important as well. We I just don't. That, but we I don't, don't. I don't think he's doing it in a way that's. Uh, don't say not flaunting it. I don't want to hear that. I mean, he, he <laughs> detrimental. He called himself Big Willie. That's flaunting. Yeah. I'm not really tripping about him flaunting. Hip hop, in general, has been about boasting and bragging since the very beginning. He just pretty much took this shit to another level. I mean, it just is what it is. And he's but been around since, I mean, early. Yeah, early, like so. early, early, yeah. I, I just, I don't think he's a bad influence as far as um, how he did it at all. You know I what I'm saying? I didn't say that. I yeah, in the I world don't. we live in and everything. Well, I, I mean, no, because, for sure. I mean, we, we can say we, we place important 
uh, importance on uh, being capitalist and having money and being able to have things and uh, things of that nature. But <clears throat> as a do you think that's a fair as a assessment? young man that came and was born in the projects and was part of the dope game transcended that into what he is now uh one of the most sought after business part people in general not even just in rap i mean that speaks volumes to me i'm not taking anything away from Jay-Z i'm not saying having, having, having a billion dollars or coming from a lot of people that what you just described a lot of people have come from that and done really really great things that we just don't celebrate as much as him becoming a billionaire that's the only point that i was trying to make a lot of people have come from worse circumstances than what he has come from and don't get celebrated for, for, for the things that they contribute in the same way that someone gets celebrated for becoming a billionaire. And that's, it, that's interesting, though. That's too. all I'm saying, man. That's interesting because that brings up the conversation of impact. Yeah. And uh, what exactly impact is. You know, what, yeah. what is the impact of a Jay-Z versus the impact of a, for your example, like a teacher? You know what I mean? What is the what what are the levels of impact on society and because then we're looking at the bigger picture of yeah the realm of everything right yeah what, what i'm describing is a person is just my personal distaste at, at times with our society and what we value and what we value that was yeah. what i was expressing yeah. there it's not yeah. personal against jay-z i think it's fantastic yeah. Yeah. yeah you know that's great for him man i seriously like he's got this vision and he ha- he has all you need to be able to be awesome at business and he built something awesome like that's great but the culture and the society as a whole what we value that's your yeah yeah. just you know i'm not mad at that yeah i didn't mean to cut you off no it's good it's like yeah never mind i was gonna go that was i was gonna go way deeper i hadn't heard that i hadn't heard that um analogy though that's i mean the I'm wrong, I'm I, wrong, or if it's just, I mean i don't know just i respect it yeah that's 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 a good that's a good take i respect that thing you know and again it's more my it goes all the way into the uh, to to what America is and the, how much we devalue <laughs> teachers and stuff like that in, in general. Yeah, and you I know. hate to pick. True. I really hate of all people to pick on Jay Z. There are a billion <laughs> other people. It's not really picking who, on them though. It's just you know what that it have is. done. It speaks you know, it's, more about us. Uh, so th- there's a book, a good book called. I haven't had the chance to finish it all. I was just talking about it over the weekend called Catch Twenty Two. Okay, uh, it's a classic, classic book. Most people have read it or should read it if you haven't. And they make this comment. It just has all this very subtle, weird humor in it. And they, they're they describing a character and describing a character's father and how everybody likes this character's father or whatever. And he makes the comment. It's like, uh, well, Mr. Smith um, makes the most money on the block. So obviously he's probably the smartest person now. Right. And John it's just like, like it's, it's like this. It's this, yeah, it's yeah. this subtle kind of, yeah. sit, you know, th- but also comment on society about how we view. that's that's all. That's it. It's just more of a I'm personal I'm not mad thing. at it. I respect it. I'm mm-hmm. not mad at it. Uh, I think we're getting close here. Did I miss? Did we miss anything? We're getting close long? Yeah, got five minutes. Five minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything we can... It's The Rock. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think there's, if there's anything. Um, <laughs> or... I don't think you qualify. Wow. Go. He was on the right. Maybe very quickly. Right. Yes. Because I know Terry's not going to be here next week, and this is a topic. We Do we want to talk about the, the series? We definitely don't. Damn, we should have probably priced it. I mean, yeah. you know, everything was going so yeah, well. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, we got five minutes. It ain't going to be able to cover. I don't think it's going to cover it. Okay. Just a yeah. thought. I'm We're not even going to tell you what it is. Yeah, yeah we're going to tell you what it is. Yeah. Is there anything else um, that we could squeeze in here? I, I didn't have, I think we. I ran through the clip. I mean, you know what? I didn't run through the clip. I'm sorry. Uh, real quick here. All these all these gun references. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you got a license for that thing. Um, 